Oh, okay. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss the difficulties uh, that stay and stands in the way of profit maximization. To understand these difficulties, let us assume that P is the uh, price is of output, right? This is the output price level, and W is shows the input prices, right? Then for each vector of prices, that is both prices output price and prices of inputs there must be some optimal choice of factor inputs it means a least cost combination of all factor inputs that are used in the production process that optimal choice which is the function of the prices that is the output price and the input price is known as factor demand function this shows the least cost combination of factor input and it depends upon the price of output and price of input. So this function which is the function of prices and output price and input price is known as factor demand function. Similarly if we substitute this factor uh, demand function in the production function we get the supply function. For example output is a function of prices right price of output and price of inputs is a function of x where x is the depends upon the prices as well that is the price of output and the price of input then this function is known as supply function of the firm and normally it is assumed that both these functions are nicely and optimally behaved but there are certain cases in which the optimal uh, bundle of factor inputs is not achieved so what are those cases in which we cannot do optimization that is we cannot maximize profit so there are certain cases let us discuss them one by one the first case where we uh, don't do we cannot do optimization is the case of when the production function is not differentiable that is we, when you have limited choices that is when when the production uh, function has one or two or few options to produce goods and services so when the production function is not differentiable you cannot take the derivatives you cannot apply the first risk condition and the second risk condition to optimize that particular function so in those cases the uh, factor demand function and the supply function uh, do not optimally behave and the example of such non depreciable function is low end tape technology where we have only one choice to produce uh, a particular commodity. So if you are using loan tip technology in the production of a certain good, then you cannot uh, go for the optimal level of uh, factor inputs. That is, you cannot do optimization, you have limited choices, and in those cases, the both these uh, functions, that is the factor demand function and the supply function, uh, do not optimally behave so this is the first case the second case is the second possibility is the first risk condition and the second risk condition are applicable when we are going for interior solution that is when we are using positive uh, units of both are all the factor inputs but in many cases uh, the variables are naturally non-negative non-negative mean x is the input bundle suppose x i a is an uh, input and it is non-negative it means that it is at least equal to zero when it is greater than zero then it is okay but when it is equal to zero at the optimal choice the calculus choices uh, described above cannot be appropriate the first error condition can be given by price time change in f of x due to change in x i minus w i is at most equal to 0 f x i is equal to 0 which means that the marginal profit from increasing the value of x, x i must be non-positive this represents corner solution it means that change in production function due to change in x i but x i is already zero so you cannot change x i so this is impossible right uh, however if your x is greater than zero 
denoted would mean uh, integrated solution. This is this is the case of quarter solution in which x i is equal to zero. But in case if there is integrated solution and you are using the positive uh, units of x i, then the proper maximization condition would be change in f of x due to change in x i minus w time i it is equal to zero. This is f x is greater than x i is greater than zero. So it means that the first order condition uh, holds only for the positive uh, units of x i. However, if either of the f factor input is equal to zero, you cannot take the derivative, and the first order condition does not apply. Where uh, the third case where we cannot apply the uh, first and second order conditions, and we cannot determine the uh, factor uh, demand function. So this is the case if the uh, f uh, p is greater than w. This is uh, price of per unit of output and this is price per unit of input. So if price per unit of output is greater than price per unit of input, in other words, if marginal revenue is greater than your marginal cost and if your technology exhibits constant return to scale for example this is equal to x then you can uh, determine the maximum level of uh, profit for example if you are producing one unit and let's suppose p is equal to 4 and w is equal to 3 so 4 is greater than 3 and you will earn one unit of profit so this is this is the case where output is equal to one unit so if y is equal to two unit then you will you will earn Two units of profit or two rupees of profit. Separately, if you are producing ten units, you will earn 10, 10 rupees profit. So it means that with the increase in the rate of production, your profit increase from one to two and from two to ten, etc., etc. So it means that in case of constant return to scale technology, when P is greater than W, the marginal revenue is greater than your marginal cost. Uh, you cannot determine the maximum level of profit and at the maximum level of profit you uh, you determine the factor demand function but since maximal profit is not determined so that's why you cannot determine the factor demand function as well as supply function of the firm so this this was the third case the fourth case is if your technology exhibits constant return to scale and even if p is equal to w still you cannot determine the maximal profit the reason is for example if you want to produce one unit of output then and suppose p is equal to w is equal to 4 so 4 is equal to 4 similarly if you are uh, you increase the level of output from 1 to to 10 units for example y is equal to 10 units so again the same width holds for a additional units it will be 40 and so it will also be 40 so for the maximum level of profit you must have a unique level of output at which the profit is maximum for example if this is output right and this is your profit for profit maximization you need a unique level of output at which the profit is maximum so it will be it will be your voice direct the maximal the optimal level of output and it will be the profit which is maximum but this is imp impossible in case of concentration to scale technology when p is equal to w so so the only case where the optimal uh, the maximal profit can be determined is p should at most be equal to w right and most probably P is less than W. So this is the only case where you can determine the maximal profit.